Alright, welcome to Team Texas Team Texas's first uh, tutorial on Sony Vegas. Um so eight users. Alright, so the first thing there's two things you gotta do before you open Vegas. First thing is you gotta go to Google.com and search up Cam Studio. Should be the first uh, webs our website. Scroll down and you'll see download links. Download one of those. Cam Studios is a free screen recording software and you're going to need it for the next thing because the moving code in the background, you can't generate that in Vegas. You have to get that from somewhere else. So you go to images.google.com and look up moving matrix code and search that and just search around for one you like but make sure it's moving um, uh, dot gif search that under images um, alright here we go uh, this is the one that's moving right here so but you see how it's kinda laggy yeah it's gonna do that in Vegas unless you uh make it into an AVI file because um, GIF files it's going to try to play it frame by frame and it's not going to work alright so you would want to open up cam studios go to region fixed region select and then just draw a border around this click OK and record and uh, just, you only have to record that for like two seconds It'll just keep it'll keep repeating itself. Alright. Now you're done and you need to open up Sony Vegas. The first thing you want to do is go to media generators and drag in some text. Like this. You can use any font you want. I personally like Bleeding Cowboys. I think that looks cool. So type in team Texas. Now you want to go to properties and make it a lightish greenish. Hold on one second. All right there, now you can see it. Okay. All right. Dang. God dang. There we go. All right, then you want to go to. Uh, and by the way, leave this alone. You don't need any of that. Go to effect. Make this box a live greenish. And take feather all the way up and make sure that this is a, a lighter screen as well see how it's kinda got that glow to it now leave this alone alright now what you want to do is go to video FX and find the TV simulator drag and reset to none alright now um, I'm going to go into a short description of what keyframes are. You need to know how to use linear and hold keyframes. A linear keyframe is a spot in the video where you want a change to take place and a hold is where you want it to stop. Alright, so at the very beginning you're going to want to raise the static up a little bit, interlacing up a little bit, aperture grill up a little bit, and phosphorance and scan phasing. Now, now you see it's got the kind of code look to it. Alright, so and then you want to go over a little bit, let that run for a little bit. You see how it's kind of like moving around. Right, so let that go for a little bit and then insert a hold keyframe by clicking this button right here. Right clicking on it and clicking hold go over a little bit make another one and make, right click and make this one linear now what you want to do here is you want to raise the static some actually raise the static all the way phosphorus down scan phasing down after drill down down interlace, interlacing all the way up and line sync all the way down now that now I'll drag this over here what this is going to look like it's going to look kind of like that and then it's going to start doing the 
weird little wig out effect. Let that run for a little bit and then insert another hold. Now you're done with that. Now I'm not gonna, I'm gonna have mine run for a little while. So this is what it should look like. Maybe a little longer. Alright. Now, where I had it, um, where it went from static -y from Team Texas to Presents, that's not a transition. You get to uh, do the same thing. So you want to grab in another t uh, text. Delete that. Again, I like Bleeding Cowboys. You can use whatever you want. Presents. Properties. Oh, one second. There, you can see what you're doing. Alright. You can go to effects. Lighter screenish. Lighter screenish feather all the way up. Now it's got that glow to it. Now video effects. Oops. Dragon resets and non-video simulator. Now Unlike the other one, you want this one to start with digging out. So you're going to take static all the way up at the very beginning, line sync all the way down, and interlacing all the way up. So you're going to let that run for a little bit, and then you're going to insert hold, and then insert a linear. You want to take the static down some. Line, uh, line sync all the way up and interlacing down some after to go up a little bit raise the phosphorus a little and the scan phasing and then after that insert a hold and when I play it back it should look like this Alright, so you have that, and then it starts wigging out. And then present comes in. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Now, what you want to do is, you want to go to File import media and you want to get that matrix code made now I don't know why mine has sound on it but that's easy to get rid of right click group remove from and then you can delete the sound you don't know why mine was there alright now it's kinda got that uh, matrix C effect now you may have noticed in the background of mine, I had a light, a lightning bolt flashing back there, kind of adding to the static effect. So you can go back to midi, blah, 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 media generators, get a noise texture, drag the lightning bolt in, make it a, make this one a dark green, and then. Click on the very end of your time bar down here and raise percent degrees all the way up. And now you're done with that. And then set this to dodge by clicking right here. And you can barely see it in the background. I don't know if you can, you might not be able to see it, but it's vaguely there. It's a little stat or lightning bolt that's adding to the static effect. And that is how you make a matrix effect in matrix text effect in Sony Vegas. And um, I 